Hello levies. In this video, I'm going to be doing a quick video on how to make over your baseboard. Those of you who follow my channel know that I'm doing a custom closet build and that I did do the baseboard on it. But I'm getting ready to do my baseboard in the closet. So I wanted to go with something different than the standard baseboard that is usually in homes. So I'm going with these one by four boards and I'm also going to be using my Ryobi nailer. I've gone ahead and cut my wood down to size, but don't worry, if you're not able to cut your wood, Home Depot or Lowe's will cut it. But by the way, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and click on that subscribe button and the bell so that you can be notified of future uploads. Also stay tuned to the end of the video where I'm going to place end screens of others of my videos and also you can just click on my name below the video and it'll take you to my channel and then you click on the video tab to see all of them but let's get started let me see the first thing you want to do after you have gone to home depot and gotten your wood cut or you cut it yourself you want to go ahead and paint your boards and it's important to go ahead and paint the top side also you don't have to worry about the, the back side or the bottom side It's fairly simple once you have your boards cut to your unique measurements. You just take and place it down there. Then you'll get your nailer or your screws and begin to nail it down. Now, you don't, you don't want to have your baseboard all the way to the floor simply because simply because you may want to change out your flooring so what i'm going to do is take a handy screwdriver and set it up under there and then nail it in That looks so much better. It's plain, it's simple, but it's beautiful. Okay, like what I forgot to do was a before shot of that side there, baseboard down there. So I don't want to not do it over here on this side. So that is the before of that area. Okay, so I am just going to be placing this board down here. The board is a little tight. I'm not going to show you guys this portion right here, but I would rather this board to be tight than for me to go and cut it again and then I have to caulking or whatever. Over there in the corner, well, I think I'm going to right there and then one in the corner, well two in the corner, and then I think I'm going to go ahead and add some screws right here, so I'm going to drill two pilot holes, one right there, one right there, and then I'm going to add screws right here, because the wall is uneven, and this piece right here is out a bit far, 
So in order to get that piece to go back maybe just a little bit further, I'm going to take and um, use some screws and see if that helps. Screws, I'm going to be using my Ryobi drill. And I'm adding in this drill bit to prep the hole for the screws. screws and it has that little different type of bit that goes in it and if you worried about these this little drill bit comes with it so that helps a lot if you don't have tubes and you're really not used to working with tubes so Just a bit. Okay, love you. So I placed my baseboard over here, and this one is the same way. It's tight, but I, like I said, I would rather be tight than for it to be too, than for it to have a space in between. So I'm going to do it just like I did the other one, just to get it in the right position. Go ahead and put this screwdriver right there so that it won't go down too far. And the baseboard to get even, even. So I'm just going to place that screwdriver back there again on my hammer. As you all can see that this right here is a little uneven, so I'm going to hammer that down just the tad. Soapy spray bottle. He's took and sprayed the area. Uh -oh. That's on that squeak. So. Then he took and sprayed the area. Yeah, like that. And he said, put a little bit on your finger. And that gives you the room to just. Well, ladies, this is the completed baseboard. It improved the overall look of the room. I am pleased with it. It's simple, plain, but it is still beautiful. This is the completed baseboard for the whole room. It turned out beautiful. I love it. It is simple, 
but yet gorgeous at the same time. I like it better than the traditional baseboards. But loveys, it's time to go. I love you guys, and I'm always praying for you. And you know what my main prayer is, is that if you don't know Jesus as your personal Savior and your Lord, you will make him your personal Savior and your Lord today. I love you guys. And as always, in parting, be blessed, be blessed, be blessed.